Hey guys, Jack of all trades here. Got a little fridge here behind me, a little bar fridge that I'm working on. Um, the compressor tripped the power, so I bought a new compressor. Here's the new compressor up here. Uh, what I wanted to show you is I had problems with the lines. Let me turn it around. The, uh, the capillary tube, this is obviously always the problem. Um, it was blocked with oil. So, just wanted to show you. So, what I do is with a cooling line is I put this on. I just have one of these little rubber makeshift valves. And I bolt that on and then I take my blue line. And then I connect that on. And then I have an old 134A compressor that I use to do charging and vacuuming with. So, what I did is I just hooked it up here on the push line. And then I run through just to put pressure on the line and see what comes out. Uh, not much came out, so I used a little bit of refrigerant flush. Uh, you buy these with a valve on. So then you just put the flush inside the pipe and then push it through with the compressor. So after I did that, it took me a couple of days. Uh, can you see this whole wad of oil here on the floor? This is how I drew into the floor because I just let it hang down this capillary and eventually it came clear all of the oil came out uh, so I just charge it up and leave it charge it up and leave it overnight and then here is the uh, the heating line same problem here so also flush that through I'm going to change out the dryer now and put the compressor back and I'll show you when I'm done right so uh, I've got the whole thing up and going let me all the piping has been done so what i had to do in this case is uh, the old cooling line was too short so i had to lengthen it and swing it all the way around and uh, the heating line is up i've got a new 15 gram dryer in and uh, the welds are done it uh, remember it doesn't have to look pretty it has to work <laughs> And uh, I coiled the uh, rest of the capillary tube and I ran a vacuum and it's staying steady. So it's time to charge it up now. So um, you can see I'm running it 134A. Open up the bottle and then I just bleed out the air in the line first. Not too much at a time. Just going to charge it up a bit and then we'll run it now. Right, so now it's time to uh, put the power on. Right, so we've got it running. So let's charge it up and see how it goes. So in case you wanted to know, the old compressor that came out is a R12. And uh, the direct replacement for that is the uh, 134A. So it's a uh, 1 12th horsepower. That's the one that goes into these little bar fridges. It's running quite nicely now. Pressure is good. Temperature is good. I just don't have my electronic gauge to show you. Very nice and cold in here. Don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I think I might give it a spray to make it look better. But there you have it, uh, block pipes, fixed it with a little bit of flush, ran all the lines through and uh, installed a new compressor and dryer. Like and subscribe. Cheers you guys.